Hello everyone, George here, and as you can see, we are back on F1 Clash as always. In today's video, we are um, gonna be talking about, let's say, a new trick on how to increase your win ratio and basically on how to get free wins in F1 Clash. So before we start, we do have the new pit pass here. Um, we do have some decent boosts. We do have the Hus livery as well, which is, uh, it's, it looks decent, you know. And uh, we now have the Alfa Romeo, we have Williams, and now we have Haas. Uh, we do have some decent boosts as well. We have the Eternal Flame here that gives you 5 overtake. And we do have the Lumberjack, which is amazing, overtake speed. Uh, we have the Koopa, we do have the Tune In, which is uh, amazing for pit times and corners as well. This one is going to be uh, an amazing and great boost to use in Grand Prix events. We do have the Rooster, which gives tire management. We have the Herald, and this boost is only for duels, I believe. It doesn't give anything like overtake, one overtake, one fuel, but and five acceleration. So you can use this one if you have let's say um, a bad qualifying session you might get a decent uh, getaway at the start of the race so now to our main subject and in which we are gonna be looking at a new uh, it is kind of old but it is a twisted um, loadout from the last one I've been using uh, from series let's say 5 up to series um, 9 maybe 10 and in which uh, we are gonna be looking at basically the same uh, lineup of drivers but we are gonna be seeing a different um, setup so we start here with um, Guan Yu Zhou uh, as always common driver from series 1 and we're using Gasly at level 4 as well he's from series 11 you can see our team score is at 1k nearly 1k but this time instead of using this setup right here my fastest setup I'm using my strongest and highest PAGR setup and you are gonna be seeing the difference that this loadout is gonna make uh, to me and to you in your uh, dual races of course this is not usable in Grand Prix events you need both of uh, your uh, strong drivers but for this one uh, first of all even if you are facing um, someone with a higher team score than you you are gonna be destroying them simply uh, as you can see we have a little bit higher team score here our race is gonna be around Zandvoort it is always uh, a good track for overtakes especially with that long straight and you are here about to witness um, something shocking about this qualifying session you can just see we are gonna qualify in P14 with Gasly and in P24 with Guan Yu Zhou and the thing is, when you use your fastest pit stop time setup, you are still gonna get uh, like uh, a decent qualifying session. You are gonna be in front of your rival, but this one hits differently. This is uh, on a new level, let's say. And the, the trick is you are getting the maximum performance from your car and your driver, but with a low team score. And this is where no one is gonna stand a chance against you even if this guy is using um, epic series 12 drivers let's say we are always gonna get the upper hand when it comes to qualifying session and basically if you get a like a big march in qualifying then the race is basically over and the only thing that can make you lose this this kind of races is, is bad strategy or if you get uh, a crash and which is quite unfortunate but otherwise this is a race in the bag you know this is a free win for us and the trick is i have the best driver which is ghastly level four i have the best car possible for me i'm using my highest pagr setup but guan yu Zhou is the reason that i'm facing um these kind of uh, let's say rivals and is the main reason why i'm getting these good qualifying sessions if i'm using let's say uh fernando alonso which is uh, currently my best uh driver too 
um, I'm gonna be qualifying in P P14, P15 with Gasly, but instead Alonso is gonna qualify, let's say in P17, P18, I might get a very good qualifying session, but when it comes to the race, you are gonna be facing someone with strong drivers and a strong car as well. And sometimes uh, you might just get unlucky and you might just go for a bad strategy, let's say, and you will lose the race. But using this trick right here, this loadout with this setup and this lineup of drivers, you are getting 100% free wins. And this is basically how I'm gonna be continuing uh, my grind through the series. Uh, one thing that I did see over on uh, the official F1 Clash Discord is a lot of you guys are just still struggling in low series. I've seen uh, players with series 12 drivers in down in series 7, let's say, and are still struggling to win a race. And simply because they are using series 12 drivers, they are using their highest PAGR setup. So basically the game is going to match them um, against someone with maybe strong drivers, strong series 12 drivers, but a weaker car. And this is where the difference um, is gonna be. They're gonna lose, they're gonna struggle. So using this loadout, you are just gonna go for a one-stop strategy for the driver in front. And in my case, it is Pierre Gasly, one-stop strategy. Don't go for a two-stop strategy because I'm currently in series 11 and during this series, every single AI car is gonna go for a one-stop strategy. So if you are racing a real player or an AI, everyone is gonna go for a one-stop strategy. So going for those two stops is gonna ruin your race. That's a first. And it's never the, the right strategy to go for. You don't have to use boosts. You don't have to waste your boosts, to be honest. Um, using this loadout, you can save your boosts. You can uh, stop losing uh, a lot of coins, by the way. And uh, in lower series, this strategy is uh, basically the same, but using uh, a fast pit stop time setup because in lower series, you don't have these series 11 and series 12 parts. So basically your setup is gonna be around, let's say four and a half up to five seconds. So you have to use your fastest pit stop time setup. Um, there's uh, one more thing and it's all about skipping series. So let's say I just maxed every single flag uh, from series one up to series six. Now I have unlocked series seven and I only need around 20 flags, let's say, for example, to unlock series eight. So I get these 20 flags and then from there I go straight up to series eight. This is something you don't do. Uh, guys, every time you go up in series, if you're using the same setup and same drivers, for example, my Gasly and Guan Yu Zhou are going to qualify P1 and P2 uh, in Series 1, let's say. They're going to qualify P3, 4 in Series 2. And this is just an example. And every time you go up in Series with the same lineup and setup, your qualifying session is going to decrease a little bit more each time you go up in Series. For example, if I have this same loadout here and I go up to series 12 Gasly is not gonna qualify in p14 instead he's gonna qualify in p18 while uh, let's say uh, Guan Yu Zhou is gonna be qualifying in p24 and this is the thing that is always uh, a problem don't skip series just play the whole series if you are willing to max uh, every single flag in the game just go for it max your flags in series 7 let's say and during this time, you're gonna be getting cards to upgrade your driver and then go up to series eight and from there to series nine, series 10. And this is the right thing to do. So uh, we are here in our second race and uh, you're gonna see, we are, uh, we are on Zandvoort as well, by the way. And we are getting the exact same uh, qualifying sessions and this is consistency. So this loadout is literally uh, the best uh, loadout so far that I've tried this season. Uh, I do have around eight, nine races maybe uh, as a win streak. I, I just gave it a try. Like uh, I was just thinking for trying to find a way on how to maximize the outcome 
uh, of my setup and lineup of drivers and the idea just came to me i tried it it worked uh, i tried it for a couple of races and i still uh, got the same results so basically this is uh, the best loadout so far probably this doesn't work in series 12 i'm not there yet so when i unlock series 12 in, a, in about a week let's say i might try it uh, give you another feedback on it but for series 11 this is literally the best uh, loadout you're gonna be uh, able to use to let's say get free wins uh, in f1 clash uh, as you can see, by the way, we are facing here epic Lewis Hamilton and uh, epic Pierre Gasly, I believe. And still, we are uh, we out qualified them both. Uh, Guan Yu Zhou is just defending amazingly against these two monsters, and he's only able to do that is because, well, uh, yeah, I'm using my highest PAGR setup. Of course, he's gonna keep losing all these spots because his own uh, stats as driver are just the worst this is a level one series one common driver so you can just see how easily the cars are getting past him but this is not a problem at least Guan Yu Zhou here defended for two full laps and nearly um, for like nearly two full laps uh, Gasly had a moment here which is definitely not a problem of course things like these like they just they don't ruin your race because you are ahead way ahead of your rival and uh, yeah we're just going here for another win we're just cruising uh one stop strategy is always the best strategy by the way it doesn't matter w on which track you are because the ai cars always go for a one stop strategy so going for two stops, as I said at the beginning of the video, is not going to be your best option. You want to win these races, you have to go for a one-stop strategy. Two stops, they they just they don't work. And uh, I know that some of, some of the viewers are just going to keep saying, yeah, my strategy is two stops and stuff. I'm just telling you, one-stop strategy, use this loadout and then thank me later. All right, so we're going to be pitting Gasly at the end of this current lap and from their boost to finish for uh, the final three laps, Guan Yu Zhou, uh, we're going to be pitting him for a new set of hard tires as he has literally the worst tire management between uh, all these drivers. From like 60 cards, uh, Guan Yu Zhou has the worst stats at all. And uh, yeah, he's just helping us. Um, win all of these races he's literally uh, the mastermind <laughs> behind these qualifying sessions so from here as I said we're just cruising there's no way uh, Guan Yu Zhou is gonna um, overtake Gasly who is on the soft compound uh, I'm just relying here on Pierre Gasly to pick up those uh, positions again uh, there's not a lot of cars that are gonna be pitting in front probably two maybe three so we are looking at a P14, maybe P15 finish. That is completely fine. Um, in Grand Prix events, you need every single point possible to score. And in duels, it's all about um, who finishes first. And uh, as long as you get um, more points than your rival, then it's all over. So yeah, I'm pretty happy um, with this loadout. Um, I believe um, we shouldn't be losing any single race using this one. Uh, you rarely face real players, by the way. I'm not saying it's impossible to face real players with this loadout, but you rarely face them. As uh, for these past eight, nine races, I have only been facing AIs. Uh, as I don't think any real player would try and use this loadout, you know, like either they use fast pit stop time or they use their highest PAGR setup with strongest drivers. But as I said, this is kind of a new meta, let's say. Strong driver, weak driver, highest PAGR or fastest uh, pit stop time setup. It's all the same. So Gasly here is about to cross the finish line. He's currently in P14. Guan Yu Zhou is still in P23. For some reason, I believe he overtook Gasly. All right, Gasly just overtook us again. So yeah, it is another win. I'm, as I said, pretty happy 
with uh, these results and uh, yeah this is a game breaking loadout uh, this is gonna be it uh, after all the end of the video uh, let me know down in the comments if you have tried this loadout if it uh, if it is working for you if uh, this video did help you uh, this loadout is literally the best loadout ever if you have uh, like stronger epic drivers than ghastly then go for it you just use your strongest driver and ghastly is the strongest driver i have so far so uh, until tomorrow uh, you're gonna be safe and you're gonna take care guys uh, tomorrow should be qualifying ground video uh, all right you saw this you weren't supposed to see races one and two it's 16 points 16 points let's just take a look at our stats first before ending the video uh, nine, 994 races completed 810 wins 81 percent win ratio and there you go 10 wins in a row using this loadout uh it is completely the best loadout ever so until tomorrow stay safe again take care again and peace